Um, we've been doing a lot of work to uh, connect indigenous people and indigenous knowledge to our Western scientific knowledge. And um, I think first of all, just understanding that the state of the forest as we in the 20th century look at it, um, it actually reflects from a Native American point of view, a lack of stewardship. And so one of the pieces that I would get really excited about is prescribed fire, um, which is, you know, it makes people very, very, very nervous. But as an example, um, wandering around with my grandfather when you know, I was five or six, he would light patches on fire and just sit there with a shovel and put them out of, with the shovel if they got out of control. And that used to be a much larger landscape application by my family. That's what we're looking for. We're uh, looking to set the stage that our communities can be more resilient, our ecosystems can sustain because we care about these large old trees and the diversity and that people have good, meaningful paying jobs, good livelihoods, right livelihoods, working in their communities, caring for their land and um, caring for their community. Future. And I think when we stop and we can get a little bit of that Aboriginal thought process going, we're all going to be possibly gentler with ourselves and maybe a little bit wiser about the decisions that we're making for ourselves and our communities and where we build.